Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Want to do a pickups video. Had an awesome weekend. Uh, not only did I have some great finds, but also had a blast watching the Super Bowl last night. Um, I'm glad the Chiefs won because I'm a Cowboys fan and the 49ers and Cowboys are still tied at five Super Bowls apiece. So that record did not fall. Uh, so my Cowboys are still tied with them. Um, and just had an excellent weekend with the family. Had some great Mexican food Friday night, but let's get on to the pickups. So I had two uh, hauls this weekend. One was at Half Price Books, which is an excellent uh, chain of bookstores uh, in the uh, North Texas area and throughout Texas and some other states as well. But it's really heavily concentrated in Texas and the Midwest. Half Price Books has a just excellent uh, book selection, plus toys and games and uh, video games and everything else. So let's see what I got here. So first of all, another thing about this weekend, the, the Prices were incredible. I got a lot of great stuff for really cheap. If you watch my channel, you know I like a good bargain. So first up is uh, Damon Baird from Gears of War, the action figure. Just three bucks, as you can see by the price tag there. Really uh, realistic looking figure, really cool looking. My son's a big fan of the Gears of War series. He played those quite a bit. I haven't really spent much time with them, but that's an awesome figure. Couldn't pass it up for three bucks, so that was a no-brainer. Really neat looking. And a couple more action figures here, including Greg Brady from the Brady Bunch. Now, my wife absolutely loves the Brady Bunch, and she already has this figure, but hey, again, for three bucks, could not pass it up. Pretty neat looking. Since my wife already has it, I will probably put this in my antique mall booth, probably get 10 or 12 bucks for it, so, you know, pretty nice markup, but uh, heck of a good deal. And one more action figure. The Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz. Our whole family loves The Wizard of Oz. Again, this was just three bucks. Kind of a <laughs> crazy looking figure. This might go in the antique mall as well, but uh, we do like The Wizard of Oz. And this is pretty neat for just $3. So again, got a great deal on it. And uh, not sure if I'm gonna keep that one or not, but, but anyway, again, three bucks, couldn't pass it up. Now let's get to some of the even cooler stuff here. Let me show you one of the coolest things I got was the uh, Tron Storybook. I love anything Tron, and uh, this was just $3. If you saw my Tron video that I did uh, a while back, maybe a couple of weeks or so ago, you'll see that I did have this book. So I will probably use this as trade bait. To, like, I do a lot of video game trade shows throughout the country each year. So I'll probably uh, probably trade this, and you know, win, it's a win-win situation. I would always rather trade than buy a game. It's just more fun that way. Saves me a little money. And uh, this is a really neat book, illustrated with photos from the film throughout. And that was just three bucks as well. Three dollars seemed to be the theme this weekend. And another thing I got at Half Price Books was the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, collector's edition. Really nice uh, DVD set. Um, that's a neat, uh, it's funny. So we went to Iowa. Uh, a few years back for a video game event, uh, one of Walter Day's uh, trading card, um, you know, award ceremonies. And, you know, so I was wrapped up a lot of the, on the Saturday of that event, uh, you know, hanging out with Walter and some other people who had gotten trading card awards. And so while I was doing some of that, the family was, you know, just in Fairfield, Iowa, just this quirky little town. Um, it's pretty neat. It's kind of an artsy town for the, for the area. And they just happened to be having a screening of a hard day's night there. Kids didn't think too much of it. Some of the thick British humor didn't really resonate with them too well, but my wife liked it. And I remember seeing this back on video a long time ago, probably in the 80s. And um, so it'll be, it'll be really nice to see this on uh, DVD, especially with this nice edition. You know, a nice fold out there with some vintage photos. Oops. Got some, a disc with extra material and uh, just a really nice set. You know, you gotta love the physical media. It's one reason I like uh, this so much better than streaming. You get all the great photos and stuff. It's a really neat set. Looking forward to that, seeing that again after, you know, many, many years. Another DVD set, special edition. Another $3 item, Beauty and the Beast on DVD, two disc set. You can't go wrong with that. Love Beauty and the Beast. It's probably, it's one of my son's favorite all-time films. And it's probably in my top five or six list of, uh, of Disney animated films. Love Beauty and the Beast. Really nice special edition, two DVD set with lots of special features. 
Again, you can't go wrong for three bucks. And to continue the $3 theme at Half Price Books, I got Batman and Robin the Teen Wonder, uh, the case of the last of the Laughing Sphinx. Now, I like this book because it's a nice little hardcover. It's got excellent art. It's obviously a kid's book, but check out the credits on this thing. Ross Andrew, Jim Aparo, Joe Orlando, and Tajana Wood. You know, all excellent DC artists. Some of the better Batman artists. And uh, it's just a really nice looking book throughout. Children's picture book. You know, so it's got some nostalgia here. I remember seeing this when I was a kid. I didn't actually own it, but I saw it at a used bookstore and read it, you know, in the store. I used to read a lot of books that way at the actual store since I didn't have a ton of money. But uh, that's really neat. And again, $3. Now, this was originally a book and tape. It does not have the tape on the back. Um, they also made a Wonder Woman and a Superman one and a Justice League one, as you can see. No Flash or Green Lantern, unfortunately. But this is really neat. And for 3 bucks, it's definitely going in my collection. Now, we're going down a dollar here to the Ewoks Join the Fight uh, book, another children's book, for just two bucks, as you can see. And uh, that's really neat. Illustrated throughout. Kind of a classic uh, children's book art there. Can't go wrong with that. I'll actually probably read this. It looks pretty neat. Anyway, for two bucks, that's going in the collection. And now those were all at Half Price Books. We got up uh, Saturday morning, my wife and son and I, and we drove to, there's a park nearby our house in uh, Fort Worth uh, where you can walk around the lake and there's the ducks and everything. It was a beautiful, beautiful sunny winter, but very nice day. A little chilly, but, but not bad at all with the sun out. And we walked around the lake, then we walked around to Half Price Books, and then we went to the donut store and had a good time. So that was my Half Price Books haul. Half Price Books haul. Well, that was uh, Saturday morning. Well, last night, Sunday night, Super Bowl Sunday, uh, we had my mom and my brother-in-law and my sister over. Now, if you watch my channel, you know my brother-in-law is uh, Mike, and he's the one that I used to own the comic book store with, and we used to play a lot of NES and ColecoVision back in the day, and he's always been a really great friend of mine, and um, he brought over some stuff, a box of stuff, for free. Now, one of the things he got me was this amazing Batman PC game, but before I get to that, I'm going to show you what else he brought. He brought me some handheld electronic games. He was going through his stuff, just looking for stuff to get rid of, some stuff to put on eBay, and he saw this gaming stuff that he thought I might like. Uh, first up is classic football. Now, this is the re-release of the old Mattel football that a lot of you guys, you know, in your 40s and 50s will probably remember with the little red hash marks as the characters. And um, this one, in Matt it was Mattel Football 1. You couldn't pass, you could, but you could run. And I spent hours and hours playing this, and you could you know, Dutch, you know, you just basically little move, move little hash marks around in the field. Really simple game, and uh, you could kick, I believe. That's what the case. I hadn't, pl hadn't played this in a long time, but anyway, it'll be neat to, to boot this up and, and check it out. It does have the battery cover, and um, so classic football, modeled after the old Mattel football. So it's not the original one, but it's still pretty neat. And another football game I got was... Now, Mattel was the first to do these types of handheld games, but many companies followed, including Coleco, Electronic Quarterback. This one's a little bit like Mattel Football 2 because it does have a quarterback and you can throw. And uh, as you can see, it's a little more elaborate than the Mattel Football game. And um, this one did not have the battery cover, unfortunately, but hey, it's free. What can you do? It does have a neat design, so that'll go in the collection for sure. And interestingly enough, I got one more football game by Tudor Games, T-U-D-O-R Games. And interestingly enough, they actually got the NFL football license. So that looks really neat with the NFL logo and fittingly enough uh, being Super Bowl Sunday and everything um, when I got this. So that's neat. And uh, it does have the battery cover, which is always a plus. And I've never actually played this one, so I'm looking forward to getting some batteries and playing this bad boy. That should be really interesting to see how it compares to Mattel football. Um, anyway, I do love the design. The NFL uh, logo and the red lettering looks really sharp. And la oh, actually, also got the Mattel Electronics Baseball. And that does, this is the original. It does come with a battery cover, which is nice. I really like the design of this. These Mattel games are so neat because, as you can see, you know, the, they're designed like a stadium. You know, and that, that's really great. And I didn't spend as much time with Mattel Baseball 
as I did with basketball and football growing up, but I did play it some. A friend of mine had it, and um, uh, so it's nice to actually have one of these uh, in my collection with a battery cover in really nice shape. And last but not least, this was the coolest thing I got all weekend. This was another thing my brother-in-law brought me. Batman the Caped Crusader for the PC, and it's also uh, Tandy 1000, 100% compatible um, with the Tandy, so just beautiful box art. Now, this is a floppy disk game. I don't really do much with computer games, with the floppy disks and everything. I do collect computers that are cartridge-based, like the Commodore 64 and the uh, TI-99, and like the Commodore VIC-20 and uh, computers like that. But um, I don't do much with the floppy disk games, but if there's something like this that's a property I love, like Batman and really nice box art, I am happy to add this to my collection. Really neat, pretty hard to find game. And this game actually, it's got a, a copyright date of, date of 1988, and it predates the NES Batman game, which came out in 1989 when the uh, Tim Burton film came out. So this is really neat to have a pre, uh, you know, before the big Batman craze, uh, this Batman game. And I'm gonna open this up for you. Uh, to take a look at it because it's got some really cool stuff inside. It's just got the Data East box there. And uh, let's look inside here because I want to show you the manual and the catalog it came with. This thing is in perfect condition. It looks brand new, like it's hardly been touched. And my brother-in-law couldn't remember where he got it, but I'm really excited that he gave it to me. And it's got a really nice looking instruction manual. And gives you joystick directions and uh, computer keyboard directions. And even cooler than that is the catalog it came with. Join the excitement, catalog of games, 1989, Data East. And it's got a lot of familiar titles in here to NES fans, because these games were also put on, the com on computers like Robocop and Bad Dudes. Heavy Barrel, and again, the Batman game. Super Hang On and Vigilante. Just a really nice full color uh, manual with uh, box art and screenshots and everything, or catalog, I should say. Just really gorgeous. And this is a really nice item to add to my collection. And even a coming soon from Data East game. And then here's a, an NES ad here, which is pretty cool, at the back of the catalog. And the old order form before the internet when you filled out pieces of paper and sent them in to order games. So that's really great to have that catalog and the discs are literally floppy discs. You know, as you can see, nice little Batman logo there. So anyway, it was a great weekend for pickups on the cheap. Not a ton of stuff, but it was all super, super cheap. You know, like 12 or, or 20 bucks or so for all of this. So I didn't do, didn't do the quick math real quick, but just two and $3 each for a lot of the items, a nice box of things for free. So. Very cool. Thank you, Mike, for uh, awesome gifts and Half Press Books for just being such a great store. Had a great weekend with the family. Enjoyed the Super Bowl. Enjoyed the Super Bowl. My son and I played some uh, Battletoads uh, Saturday afternoon and just reminded how difficult that game was. We even kind of argued a little bit about it during it. He might have done a little trash talking to me, but he said it wasn't trash talking. It was just him telling me again and again that I was playing it the wrong way, which he was right. I screwed up a few times and cost us some lives, but in my defense, it is a very difficult game. And um, I was better at playing the NES, you know, when I was 20, 21, 22, than I am now at 52. Anyway, the reflexes have slowed down a little bit, but anyway, we had a great time, and, and it, was, it's, it just reminded what a brutal game it was, but we had a blast. Anyway, been a fun weekend, guys. Thank you so much for watching this pickups video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And uh, tomorrow, I'm going to drop an, an episode uh, talking about the Intellivision Amico and the great video game crash and how those two tie together and why I'm so excited about the Amico. All right, guys, we will talk to you later.